Hey, have you ever thought about maybe going into business for yourself? A lot of HR professionals do. Before we do that, there are three questions that we're going to talk about in this video that can make the difference between success and failure. Hi, I'm Dr. Jason Owen, AKA The Hope Doctor, and my mission is to help HR professionals like you be successful in their ventures. Let's get to it. When you finish your college degree, they give you these really cool hats that you get to wear, you know, but, but you know what you do with these hats? Well, you take them off. And then after you take them off, you put them down, you kind of fix your hair a little bit, make yourself look good, and you go get a job. Now you got a job, you're in HR, and you start to work hard, and you're doing your thing, and everything's going great, but then you start to realize, you know what? Somebody else is making all the profits. I'd like to make the profits. I'd like to own my own business. Well, a lot of people have gone down this road. A lot of HR professionals have gone down this road because quite frankly, HR professionals are highly educated. Before we do that though, there are three key questions we need to ask ourselves before we launch our business to decide how we're going to go about doing things, if we should go about doing things, and if it'll actually work. So the first question I want to jump right into is, what are you going to offer to your customers? Hmm. Well, that can be a lot of things. I mean, no matter what your passion is, what your interest is, that's great. But let's be totally honest here. When we were in high school and back in the day, or maybe you're not there yet, but you're coming up on it, there's a lot of times what they tell us is that you can be whatever you want to be. Well, that's true. You can. You work hard. You can accomplish your dreams and be whatever you want to be. The problem is a lot of times nobody's going to pay you to do that. So you can do it, but you're going to do it for free. So here's the thing. The first question that you need to ask yourself when you're getting ready to open a business is, will somebody care? In other words, who cares? Why are you doing what you're doing? What are you offering to your clients that matters to them? Once we've determined this, and now we can move forward because here's the thing. Well, I love painting rocks and putting them all over the world. Hey, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm sure somebody can figure out a way to make money with it. But if people aren't willing to pay you to do that, you got a problem, a big one. You know, there, there's a couple of other questions that we can get into on this because it's, it's a matter of, well, does my passion mean that I can't make money? I can't do my passion for a living? No, that's not necessarily true. It can be done. How we monetize it is one of the most difficult questions when we're launching a business. So here's the question, who cares? Who cares that you want to open a business? Who cares that you want to be successful? Well, obviously you do, and I'm sure your mama does, but who else cares? Because they're your customers. They're the ones who are going to invest in what you're putting out in the world. So you have to ask yourself, who cares? Who will be my customers? Who am I trying to serve? So whatever your business is, make sure that you're asking yourself, who are you going to serve first? Or my favorite way to look at it, who cares? All right, the second question is, how are you going to get it to them? Seems simple, right? Man, that is the toughest part of business for a lot of people. How do you get the product or service to the customer? They need to know you exist. That's a tough challenge. Now, of course, there's tons of media marketing and there's tons of traditional advertising out there. And there's a boatload of people all over YouTube, probably just like this guy, that can tell you how to do it or tell you what worked for them. But the fact is, it depends on your business. Your clients operate in a certain sphere of influence, and it's that sphere of influence that you got to get into. So if you're trying to attract elderly people that, uh, you know, are interested in, in your service or that might need your service because you can uh, bring them groceries without them having to go out and shop for it, that, that's great, whatever your business is. But if your client base are seniors, well, then you got to think, how do seniors communicate? How do they interact? And you know what? Some of them are online. A lot of them are. I mean, online is a huge growing presence, obviously. So how do my customers communicate? Well, 
seniors may do more newspapers or they may watch TV more and, and those kind of advertisements may work better for you. But if you're trying to market someone who's a little younger, maybe uh, let's let's pick on the millennials a little bit. You're, you're trying to tap into that age bracket, which by the way is a huge age bracket, so I'm not picking on anybody, but, but let's look at the millennials. They communicate a bit differently, don't they? A lot of them use Facebook. A lot of them use Instagram. A lot of them use uh, social media as their means of communication. Some even email. I think they still use that nowadays. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about the third question. How do you make money at it? Because here's the thing. If your customer doesn't care enough to pay you to do it, then what you're doing is going to fail. We have to create a product or a service that our customers value enough to part with their money from. But that means that it also has to be difficult enough that they're not willing to do it themselves. Now, I know this seems simple, but for those of you that are maybe just first starting to think about how do I launch a business? What should I do? How do I do it? I don't want to work for other people. I want to work for myself. I want to make the profits. Hey, that's great. So go through these questions. Let's look at them again real quick. You know, who cares? Who cares what you want to do? Nobody except for you and your mama. Okay. So you have to make sure you're looking at it from your customer's perspective. Why do they care about what you're doing? Well, two things that you can do is you can make sure that what you're doing is in front of them, that they can actually see it and they know what you're doing, but two, that it's valuable enough that they're willing to pay somebody to do it because it's also too difficult or too time consuming or it's just something they don't want to do. When we get this combination, now we find the secret recipe. You know, there's a lot of videos all over the internet, all over YouTube. I guarantee you in 10 seconds, you could find a gazillion videos about the secret to success and making great business and millions of dollars. Listen, I've made millions of dollars and I've made no dollars, you know, so uh, uh, they both have their ups and downs, you know, um, but, but here's the thing, regardless of how you want to make money, what your passion is, it matters how other people care about it. Now, I know we're taught a lot about, well, I don't care what other people think of me. Well, that's great, but you definitely want to care what other people think of your business because they're the customers spending the money. So as you go through the process of getting ready to launch your business, I want to encourage you to think about a couple of things. First, of course, what we've talked about today. Do they care? How do I get in front of them? And why would they spend money on it? Is it valuable enough? But also, I'm going to give you a little bonus one. Are you ready for this? Here it is. This might sting a little. You may not succeed anyway because... The markets are tough. You've got a lot of competitors that are out there trying to do things that you're doing. So we have to do something a little different, something a little edgy, something that's a little more than our competitors. But competition can be a good thing because it can also help lift us up and show that we are credited in our own environment. All right, so hey, I hope this video helped you guys. If you liked it, hey, listen, click subscribe. It doesn't take you but a second to go clickety, and then it helps us out a whole lot on this channel, and we can reach more people. Share this video on your social media, and hey, if you'd like to uh, learn some more about how HR professionals can use biblical principles to grow their position and grow their influence, this channel may be for you. I'm Dr. Jason Owen, aka The Hope Doctor, and I just want to wish you guys a blessed week.